testing. It's the most ghetto shit ever, but this is what we have to work with. I'm Adam Olinger. Typically, I do a show called Car Side Reviews, but I've been put up in a hotel for a couple days for my real job. Uh, I have to attend at a conference, so I thought, what better way to experience Dallas, Texas than to go to a couple movies. You know, on YouTube, uh, there seems to be a plethora of reviewers out there, critics, early access viewers, they give you quick responses. Typically, it's uh, kind of a vlog format. So I kind of ask myself, how do I stand out from the crowd? Sure, a person's opinion can be worth its weight in gold, and that's really all you need sometimes, but I'd like to deliver a little bit of entertainment in the process uh, via visuals. I don't want to be Chris Stuckman. I don't want to be Jeremy Johns. I want to be Adam Mullinger, guy who likes movies and likes telling you how it is in a creative way. So to start things off, we're going to, see, we're going to talk about an extremely uncreative film, very by the books, paint by numbers, a little movie called Jack Reacher 2. This doesn't really seem like the property for Tom Cruise. He already has this property. It's called Mission Impossible, and they're much more entertaining films. They're just better. From a visual standpoint, from a storytelling standpoint, from an action standpoint, they're just, they're just better movies. There's not one scene in this film that I watched and I thought, that was awesome. Except for maybe when he jumps off of a roof and kind of punches a guy, but that's in the trailer. You didn't need to see the movie for that one shot. Uh, John Wick is a far better made film, and I'm extremely excited for that sequel. I went to this because I was bored. Does Tom Cruise run in it? Yeah, you better believe he does. He runs the fuck out of this movie. Him and Kobe Smulders, who uh, I thought was just going to be camp. I thought she was going to be just shitty bad, kind of like how she is in The Avengers. I think she's awkward and out of place. I thought she did well here. She held her own. And maybe it's because this movie feels like a straight-to-TV uh, sort of affair. It seems like a CSI type of thing. Nothing's really... There's no wow factor in this. It's all very much kind of a mundane experience. Villain's pretty generic, too. He has no real backstory. He's kind of just a bad guy. He, he likes doing bad things. He never left the war behind him. He's always in the war. That's, that's the whole thing. Jack Reacher has a possible daughter in this. That's the whole big plot going on is, you know, maybe Jack Reacher knocked a chick up back in the day. Here's this 15-year-old girl he has to kind of raise slash protect. She's borders on annoying at times, but she plays it all right. I don't know the actress's name. I refuse to do any research for this. I found it odd that the movie fires up exactly how the trailer is. The scene where he's in the restaurant and he tells the cops that the phone's gonna ring and they're gonna be arrested. That's the entire opening act. The first eight or ten minutes are dedicated to that scene and you saw most of it in the in the movie preview so you're just kinda waiting for that to be over with or to see where that leads which is nowhere. It's a cold open. I, I thought there was gonna be more action. I thought it was gonna be more over the top. There's just a lot of running. More running than a typical Tom Cruise movie. I think 20% of this film is him running. Car chases are very uninspired too. For your action fix, is it going to do the job? I suppose. But you're better off staying at home and watching a anything else, really. For my, for my grade, I'm going with a, uh, I don't know, I guess a 4 out of 10. And not because it's insultingly bad. A 4 out of 10. A, a 5 out of 10 is about as mundane and generic as it can be. This is a sequel. It, it, it's expected to kind of up the stakes a little bit, get a little bit better, hopefully. This doesn't. This actually goes worse, I think, than the first one. And for you few Nation fans out there, there's a few of you <clears throat> who are watching, let's, let's kind of determine where we're going to go with this show together. You know, car side reviews have just kind of been... They've been there. They, they do the job, I guess. Um, they're nice to do quickly after a movie's done, but I think I'm done with that. I, I'll never be first to, to YouTube. You know, I don't get the early access to films, and that's fine. I don't, I don't want to be the guy that reviews every movie that comes out. That, that sounds awful. I want to see the movies that I want to see or that I just happen to see. I don't want to go out to bam, 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 you know, seven movies in a week. That doesn't sound like a fun movie-going experience for me. That sounds like it's work. And I don't have that explosive personality that some of these other guys do. I'm not in your face. I'm not over the top. I could be that. I won't. I won't do that. I won't, I won't lie to you. Be real with you. So this is this is uh, this is where we get. But that doesn't mean we can't experiment. So let me know in the comments where you want to see this show go. We call it Adam Reviews. Is that simple enough? I have Adam Rants on this channel. I have some other shit. I don't know.
or something new, you know, whatever. Just, just help me out. Help, help me help you. And together we'll accomplish everything. We'll take over the world, as they say.